and welcome to the Servant Hearted Mama YouTube channel. I'm Shelby, coming at you from a little bit of a different spot today. We are in the car because to grandmother's house we go. We are going to Nani's house. Do you want to go see Nani, Rory? Yes? Yes. So we are going to go see Nani, which is my mother-in-law. And we're gonna bake Christmas cookies today. And this is a super special tradition because for those of you who don't know, Ryan and I are actually high school, yes, Ryan and I are actually high school sweethearts. And so even back when we were 16, I would go over and make Christmas cookies every season with Tracy. And so now we get to include Miss Rory because last Christmas she was a little bit young. And so now we get to include her in the tradition. So it's gonna be super special. So we have some wonderful family cookie recipes to share with you today. So be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram at Servant Hearted Mama. And we're excited to share this day with you. All right, we are starting out with a classic sugar cookie recipe that has a glaze as well as royal icing. So you can pick which one and I'll have the exact recipe typed up down below in the description box. So Nani is amazing. And you know, when you're cooking with a toddler, it's kind of hard to see that whole process through. So she actually pre-prepped all of the cookie dough so Roy could get to the fun part of cutting out the cookies and doing all the fun decorating part. This cookie recipe is amazing though, as it has very simple ingredients, butter, sugar, flour, and it comes together really easily and you just chill it in the fridge and then roll it out. So you can even do it the day before, which um, I would definitely recommend. Nani also found these super cool presses and they pressed down on the cookie dough and it would press out like the face of Santa or a reindeer. And it was such a cool thing for Rory to get to help do. Another such a smart thing that Nani figured out is you can mix together food coloring and extract. So here she's doing green food coloring and peppermint extract and then your little toddlers can use a paintbrush and they can paint directly onto the cookie. That is a beautiful tree. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. This one can get the very top. That's so beautiful. More, you want green on there? She's doing oh, good. She is. She's doing great. And toddlers, it's all about eating and tasting what you're making as well as decorating. We had lots of cookie bites throughout the process. And here, I believe we mixed together vanilla extract and red food coloring to make stripes on the candy canes. So here we are using the royal icing recipe to spread the royal icing onto some really cute cut out houses. Tracy and I were also dying laughing as soon as I walked into the house because we were totally matching. I have to say it was unplanned. I guess great minds just think alike. Now we're putting on the sprinkles onto some of the royal icing and Roy was very into taste testing the sprinkles as well. <laughs> I would love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite Christmas holiday tradition? And if it's cookies, what is your family's favorite cookie recipe? Here we dyed some of the royal icing red and put it into a piping bag and we were just piping around the outside edge of the houses. Now we did some of the cookie painting on just plain cookies, but you can also wait for the royal icing to dry and then they can paint on top of the white icing. And Marie thought that that was a lot of fun too. <laughs> 
Now here is the glaze. We think the glaze is the most delicious option for icing your cookies. And it's really simple, have it typed out down below. And so here we're doing gingerbread men, so we dyed the glaze brown and Rory was pouring the glaze onto the cookie. Now we're moving on to a super special family re recipe of the Riegers, and that is icebox cookies. So if you like a classic cookie that's not too sweet, Poppy or Ryan's dad really likes to enjoy these with a cup of coffee. They have molasses in them, and so they have a really like spicy flavor to them, and they're absolutely delicious. Now, they're called icebox cookies because you make the dough in advance and you roll them into this log and wrap them in parchment paper and keep them in the fridge or the icebox. And then you just cut them out and place them on a tray. And the funny story is, is that these are a little bit of a labor of love. And so Grandma Rieger was so excited to pass these on to Tracy. Good job. You do one more? Good. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. good. This? Yeah. Are those good? <laughs> Is it yummy? Nani, can I have one? Ah. Mm. Mm. So good. Are they so good? Are they so good? Thank you so much for watching and following along on our family tradition of Christmas cookie decorating that was made extra special this year by getting to include Miss Rory. We hope you have a wonderful start to your Christmas season.